What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video in Gage's Garage and in today's video we're going to be continuing the cross cart build and actually starting to work on the overhead chassis or the overhead roll cage part of the frame and as you can see I got these tires on here mocked up just to see a little look see what she could look like with these big old tires on it but I'm definitely going to go with something smaller. These are just the tires that came with the swing arms that was on the quad that burnt down but I just wanted to throw it on to see what it looked like in the meantime and yeah she looks pretty cool. So now we are going to be working on the front face, like the windshield area of the actual buggy. And I know I've done a lot off camera because I did all of this at my new job, as well as cutting off most of the suspension brackets that are the swing arm brackets that I made out there. All of those I had laser cut at work and I'm learning a lot from that place. It's a bunch of really smart people that know what they're doing and they're helping me a lot with bunch of this stuff so yeah these look pretty good and i got it lined up real well so yeah all i got to do now is tack it into place and get these or get this put on the buggy and tack that into place and start making some supports so yeah we'll just get right into it Wobble my arm. It's already wobbling. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All I want for Christmas. Now Mariah Carey would be nice. <laughs> 92 Mariah Carey. There's one of my videos where I'm talking about me singing a Christmas song because I could not get it out of my head, bro. <laughs> I was sitting there, I'm like, I can't get this song out of my head. Sorry guys, we're gonna switch topics for a second, but I cannot stop singing. I was <laughs> like, I can't stop singing. What song was it? It was, um, Oh my gosh, that was stuck in my head a week and a half ago, and I couldn't quit singing it. No, it's on my, it was on my <clears throat> video, it was the video where I was working on my swing arms on the Boozer Cruiser, I was talking about it, and that video got like 6,000 views, so it's, maybe I should keep singing in my, in my videos, because maybe. that's my most viewed Bro, video. Gage, you gonna like completely drop Gage's garage and be a pro <laughs> singer? Yep. No, nah, bro, I'll tell you what, though. That very song gets stuck in my head more than anything. That's funny. You know the song gets me hyped, though, that's a Christmas song? Carol the Bells. That song makes me feel like I could punch a hole through titanium. That's funny. Here, hold this right here. You're going to want to come down here. I was watching some guy on TikTok play. Oh, it's that what? What's the Titanic song? I have no idea. Ah, it was. It's the. Hold on. It was so good. It was. It was the most impressive thing I've ever seen. What have we done? Playing this Titanic song on the electric guitar, and it oh, it was beautiful, bro. It was what is the Titanic song? It, what is it? It goes um. Crap. It sounds so familiar, kind of. I feel like I should know it. You're here. There's nothing to fear. I'm 
Heart will go on. So heart will go on. It was the most beautiful sounding thing I've ever heard. That's pretty good. Actually. Okay, as you can see, we finally got this front part of the roll cage on, as well as the support beams, and they're all tacked into place. They're a little bit more than tacked, but I'm at a point where this welder is just terrible. I can't keep, I cannot continue to build these things safely without upgrading my welder, so that's what I'm going to be doing here within the next couple of weeks. I am definitely going to be buying a much better welder. Right now, I'm thinking about a 140 slash uh, or 170 by 240 amp uh, Eastwood welder I'm pretty sure it's got it's MIG and it's got gas and everything which this is gasless and it's just gas keeps it a lot cleaner there's not no slag well there is a little bit but not much at all but yeah I really need to get a new welder because this just isn't cutting it anymore and yeah so as you can see we finally got this done and stay tuned for next video because we're hopefully going to be finishing the roll cage a little bit and I'm at a point where I need to find an engine and I have yet to do so. I'm really trying but they're just ridiculously overpriced for wrecked motorcycles, anything like they're just completely overpriced and I'm, I'm wanting something with a big engine. So I mean so far this thing isn't too heavy but I mean I still want a big engine so that way it's got plenty of power for what I want to do with it. So yeah, these are not going to be the tires I'm using. These are at full, like the lowest part it can go and it's really tight steering wise. But once you lift it and get it off that point, it's much better.
or I finish the front suspension for now. These things are just fully tacked into place, or they're not fully welded, they are tacked into place. But as you can see, it could hold my weight and it could hold me bouncing up and down a little bit, even though I'm not trying to rough it up too much because I'm afraid they're gonna break for now. But yeah, as you can see, we got the front end attached, We've got the swing arms on. The only thing that's not left for the front end is the steering and the tie rods and everything. So yeah, stay tuned. This thing is it's coming together. I really like I really like the look of it right now. As you can see, it's got a real cool looking stance. And I really like the windshield, that front thing that I bent. I got that design off of KJ Racing. I really liked his, so I kind of made my own. I didn't use his plans. I just eyeball it and hope it looks the way I want it to. But yeah, I got the idea from KJ Racing as well as Sierra Cars. I'll probably tag those channels down in the description so that way I don't get copyrighted for using someone's idea or something like that i just i liked how those looked so i tried to make my own version of it and i really like how it's turning out so far so yeah in the next videos we are going to be working on the roll cage well the rest of the roll cage and some cross bracing stuff like that i'm still looking for an engine give me some time i really would like a cbr 1000 which ridiculously expensive for right now especially the ones that are 2004 and up because those ones are fuel injected and that's what I want. I don't want carbureted. I'm also looking at some other different ones, but 1000s are looking like it's gonna be the ideal engine for what I want. It's a lot of power and that's a lot of torque and that's what I want. So yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Please hit that like button. It really helps with getting me publicity and I suck at saying that word. It really helps get me publicity and it helps get my channel out there and really shows me if you guys like what I'm doing. So please comment down below if you like what I'm doing. If you see anything I missed or if I need to change some things, just please give me your advice in the comments. And yeah, thank you for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe.